one of my previous episodes i talked about standards and i talked about how we can make sure that people within the organization follow the standards i talked about governance and i uh, postulated that if we don't have governance within the organization then there will be chaos people will just do whatever they want to which raises a very interesting question why don't we follow the rules why don't we do the right thing and it brings in the topic of morals and ethics and this is important because it has a certain impact on the organization and it has an impact on technologies as well take artificial intelligence for example a couple of days ago gemini made a mistake uh, it was asked about the founding fathers of the united states of america and it showed people of various genders ethnicities and even people of color now historically that is not a fact right but it turns out that google was trying to make gemini a little bit more woke and that is why in to avoid the risk of sounding politically incorrect it skewed with the facts now i would like to think of artificial intelligence as a child um, like parents teach child what is the right thing to do and children don't listen to the parents as much as they copy them so if the parents are not ethically and morally correct all the time then there's a high chance that the children will become like that as well artificial intelligence and technologies and even organizations for that matter are constantly learning from the people and looking at the people and how they are behaving and based on that they are learning artificial intelligence specifically it learns from the data that we give it it learns from the way we behave etc etc so i would like to cover that today as a topic let's run a thought experiment and before i get into the thought experiment um, i would like to say that uh, trust is a shared resource and that is the whole point of the experiment that we are going to be doing today if everybody follows the rules then there is a high chance that people will follow the rules if the roads are clean already then people will not throw garbage on the road they will f- try to find a waste pa- waste bin recently i had gone to the northeast and people who are following my youtube channel know that i also run a youtube channel uh, around my motorcycle rides that i do and in the northeast the region is very hilly so so people follow the rules when it comes to traffic they don't uh, uh, go they don't break lanes or try to overtake where they sh- should not they patiently wait and this is because when you're on the hill and um, if there is a traffic jam then it's a problem for everybody so everybody knows that they are supposed to follow the rules and that is why they follow the rules more trust is a shared resource so the thought experiment that i was talking about let us assume that there are 10 people in a team and the manager picks a cabin and keeps a box in the cabin and comes back and tells the 10 people in her team that everybody has to go inside the room and drop some amount of money and the preferred unit is 100 rupees and i'm going to talk in rupees you can assume whatever currency you are uh, you have in your country so everybody puts in 100 rupees and then she will go into the room and she will count the amount of money that has been collected in the box and then uh, she will double it so if everybody puts in 100 rupees then uh, 1000 rupees get collected in the box and then she puts in 1000 rupees and comes back out with the money and distributes it within the team so if everybody puts in 100 rupees if it is 1000 rupees then everybody gets <coughs> 200 rupees back so they make 100 rupees if they invest 100 rupees now in the first round everybody goes in puts in 100 rupees comes back out the manager goes in counts the money and it's 1000 rupees she adds 1000 rupees to it and distributes it within the team so everybody like the rules say earns 100 rupees out of that so 100 rupees of profit based on 100 rupees of investment that's what we are talking about and then this happens again second round third round and so on and so forth now let us assume that there is one wild card character in those 10 people so he starts thinking that if i don't put in the 100 rupees in then what would happen right 900 rupees would get collected which means that the manager will go in count the money it will be 
nine hundred rupees. She would put in nine hundred rupees. That will make it one thousand eight hundred rupees. She'll bring out the one thousand eight hundred rupees, and distribute it among the ten people. So everybody gets one eighty rupees. Now, the people realize that someone within them has not put in the hundred rupees. What that means is, without putting any money, that person has earned one hundred and eighty rupees. That is a net profit of one hundred and eighty rupees. So while everybody earned only eighty rupees, one person among them earned one hundred and eighty rupees. So technically, if you think about it, nobody's really made a loss, right? Everybody's profited out of it. Uh, everybody's made eighty rupees. While they could have made a uh, hundred rupees out of the hundred rupees of investment that they've done, they earned eighty rupees instead. So. definitely there is an opportunity cost of 20 rupees there people are not going to be concerned about the 20 rupees less that they made what they would really be concerned about is somebody within the team has made 180 rupees while everybody else has made 80 rupees what do you think is going to happen in the next round everybody will go in but not everybody will put 100 rupees in it some of them will be naive enough to assume that last time somebody made 180 rupees which means you know this time they won't and everybody and some of them will put 100 rupees in the box but there will be more number of people who will now not put any money in it so there's a chance that um the money will be not 90 rupees anymore it could be 50 rupees or something and then um so that means that 500 rupees will get collected or you know i don't know 350 rupees or whatever will be collected and then that will be doubled and that will be distributed and more number of people will make a you know a profit and some people so the profit now becomes uneven and in the next round nobody will put any money in the box and nobody will make any profit out of it so what really happened here people did not not put money into the box because they were making a less profit people decided that they will not put any money into the box because if they do then somebody makes a um, unjust profit out of it they are investing the money somebody is earning without make, without investing anything we are not really concerned about how much profit we make we are really concerned about fairness we want the system to be fair now think about it this can be applied everywhere let's say traffic and traffic is the best example people don't cut in line because they are in a hurry you see when you are in traffic and there's a lot of cars and a lot of bikes and this is especially in countries like india where uh, the infrastructure is not as much as the population is and especially during rush hour there's a lot of traffic and uh, and people do cut in right they don't wait uh, for their turn to go they will cut in especially motorcycles they'll cut in and i ride a motorcycle to work so i see this all the time now i try not to cut in as much as possible being who i am but um, people do that all the time now if you really go and ask them are you in a hurry to get to work is there a meeting that you are going to be missing if you don't reach office on time they would say no they're not it's not that they are in a hurry to get to office what's really happening here is they are seeing that if they don't cut in line somebody else will so somebody else is getting an unfair advantage and they're not happy about that it's not the delay that they will be facing it's more the unfair advantage that somebody else will be getting and that's why they also want to do it if nobody's following the rules why should i you know that's primarily the reason i feel why people don't do the right thing people don't throw waste into the waste paper bin they'll just you know throw it here and there or they will not put the you know plastic in the plastic section and paper in the paper section or you know segregate because they think nobody else is you know how is it going to make a difference whether i do it or not because nobody else is doing it trust is a shared resource when you trust people that they will do the right thing you also do the right thing that is the that is what i feel is the primary reason why people don't do the right thing 
So this is just a thought experiment. Um, it's very important, more important than it was before now uh, to do the right thing because artificial intelligence is constantly watching us. It is constantly learning from us. If we don't have the right behavior, then we can't expect technologies to have the right behavior. After all, we are their role model. Now, this is not about enterprise architecture this time. Uh, this is more about human behavior. This is more about uh, uh, leadership also, because leaders play a very important role as a role model. If leaders don't follow the rules very well, then the people who are looking at them will also not follow the rules. If leaders take really long vacations, there is a high chance that people will take really long vacations as well. Now, there's not that there is anything wrong with taking really long vacations, but as long as work doesn't get impacted. But if leaders are the right role model, if they follow the rules, if they do the right thing, the chances of the team doing the right thing is higher. So that was the thought experiment today. Um, I hope you liked the episode. I, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know what you think about why people don't do the right things. And every one of us at some point in time in our lives have cut corners. We have decided to take a shortcut or not do the right thing. And it's not really a very bad thing to not do the right thing. I mean, it's not illegal or anything. It's just the small things, you know, segregation of waste, for example, or following traffic rules, for example, or uh, writing unit tests when you're coding or following the right process when you are um, building something within the organization or not stepping on somebody else's toes or and so on and so forth. We've all done it at some point in time. I would like to know what your motivation was uh, when you did that, right? Um, be frank, be open. This is a podcast, but like I say every time, Enterprise Architecture Radio is not just a podcast and it is not even just a pure play enterprise architecture podcast. It's a podcast about organization. It's a podcast about efficiency. It's a podcast about leadership. It's a podcast about the way people behave and how we can get better over a period of time. Enterprise Architecture Radio is that community where people get together and talk to each other and learn from each other and guide each other and, and, and just have a lot of fun with all these concepts. So talk to me, talk to each other. There is an Enterprise Architecture Radio Telegram group. There's a discussion group on LinkedIn. Um, join the community. But most importantly, have fun. <laughs>